Hey everybody, uh, quick simple little video here. Um, I have a few videos that I'm just taking forever to edit and upload, so I wanted to do this one. This one should be pretty easy to uh, to get going here. Um, recently my auto meter um, fuel pressure gauge, which I have in my pillar pod right here, uh, it was reading, telling me I had 30 PSI of fuel pressure, uh, key on, engine off verified with three different mechanical gauges it's actually 50 psi uh key on engine off and 70 psi or like 68 psi engine running <clears throat> so i knew that there was a problem with that now i contacted autometer a couple times and i finally got some really good information um the uh tech guy i talked to actually told me how to test the sender to make sure that it was uh, sending out, find out what voltage it was sending to the gauge, and then um, told me how to figure out, you know, if the gauge was displaying the correct voltage. And essentially, what it is is uh, actually here's the altimeter one, um, and this is the hundred psi uh, sender. Uh, what he told me was is this is uh, zero to hundred psi, and it's 0.5 volts to 4.5 volts, and it's linear. So that means that zero uh, PSI is 0.5 volts and 100 PSI is 4.5 volts and if you go directly in the middle of that 50 PSI it's halfway between those two numbers so uh, I couldn't find my printout but I just wanted to show you the uh, chart that I made um, in Excel you can see that I plotted out the uh, fuel pressures from 0 to 100 and their corresponding voltages uh, if you start with 0 0.05 you can use Excel to um, add 0.04 to that number and then kind of drag it through all the rest of the cells and it'll give you um, your voltages uh, pretty easy. <clears throat> so once you measure your voltage at your sender, you just match it up and you can see it, what, uh, what the sender is actually telling the gauge. Now if the gauge was saying uh, 50 PSI but you were only getting 1.7 volts out of it, um, and you were supposed to have 30 PSI, then obviously there's a problem, a communication problem with the gauge. But in my case, uh, I had 1.7 volts, so you can see there that that goes with 30 PSI, and it should have been more like 2.5 volts. So, uh, re uh, pretty clear indication that there was a problem with the sender. I did a printout, uh, I used an Excel spreadsheet real quick, just to kind of print out every fuel pressure between 0 and 100 and what its corresponding voltage was, just so I could check it. Um, and not have to do any math in the process. Uh, what you have on these, and this is actually pretty common for most pressure sensors, is you have three wires. You have um, this black wire. Come on, focus. The black wire, that is your ground. This gray wire is your reference voltage, which is almost always five volts, unless you have something else going on. Uh, but in this case, it's five volts. And then this purple wire, which is the return voltage to the gauge. So um, you got five volts coming in, depending on where the diaphragm is, it adds resistance, and then this is uh, purple wire will be your lower voltage. Um, so you just take your take your good old multimeter and you can pull back the weather pack plug out of the back, and then you can get to the um, contacts in there. Right there, you can see it, and you just touch your multimeter to it, and you have to have both ends hooked up, so the fuel rail. And, and the gauge ends have to be hooked up, and you read the voltage. Um, and mine was uh, telling me, I think it was um, 1.7 volts I was getting out of here, key on, engine off. So that corresponded with 30 PSI. So that was telling me the gauge was good and that the sender for some reason, oh, and it was also five volts. So I knew that my voltage was good, my ground was good. That just meant that the sender was telling the gauge uh, essentially the wrong pressure. So you can get one of these. Um, oh, and, and depending on your gauge, if it's a zero to 15 PSI or um, uh, I guess zero to 50, you can, you can find out the range, uh, the voltage range. Almost every, almost every sensor will have a spec on that. Um, I don't think it'll be the same range, but you can figure that out. So the replacement sender is a hundred dollars. Autometer wanted me to send it back for them to test and then they were going to give me a discount on a new one but to be honest with you by the time I shipped the thing out there and then they gave me a little bit off because I bought this in 2006 
just wasn't worth it to me right now. So I went on Amazon and I just typed in 100 PSI fuel pressure sender. And um, this, little, this little guy came up, this little stinker right here. Stainless steel body. Um, oddly enough, it is the exact same, takes the exact same plug and the wiring configuration is exactly the same as the autometer. And if it wasn't, they actually give you a pigtail with the, about, um, I don't know, six inches of wire. It was $25 shipped with Prime, but $25 came in two days um, and uh, so I screwed it in and it uh, like I said the plug fits great and everything seems to work if anybody's interested in what the number was I will uh, put it in the description but oh, there she goes about 49 to 50 so, it just goes to show you that you don't necessarily need the Autometer direct replacement. I mean, I hate, I hate not supporting a company like Autometer because um, I feel like they make a great product and their customer service is pretty good. But in this case, $100 for the sender is nutso. Um, there was another one that was like 38 bucks, but like I said, $25 it shipped. Um, the only thing I noticed about it was that the, you can see how close it is, how close the sender body is to that. The pipe thread seemed cut a little small. I'm actually going to email them and maybe see if they'll send me another one um, in case it was cut wrong. But I have a feeling it's just the cheap uh, China manufacturer, probably. So uh, it doesn't leak. I have no problems with it. As you can see, it's dry. So, um, but anyway... That's that. That's how you test them, and you can uh, replace them. Now, if the gauge was not reading the same voltage as the, um, or not reading the same pressure that corresponded with the voltage, then you know, obviously you'd have another problem. But that's how you do it. Thanks for watching.